Pandemics have increased in frequency in the last few hundred years, and it's an obvious reflection of the way humans live. We have bigger populations, we're more connected, we're more urban, we're, we're denser, we interact more with wildlife species, we have deforestation. So it's going to happen more. I think climate change is really going to be a, a key driver of this because as climates change, what will happen is that animals will change their distribution too because they're affected by climate change and they'll probably group together more, allowing viruses to jump more between them. Humans who rely on animal species will need to change their way of, their way of living, their, their livelihoods, their way of acquiring food, and they'll probably be exposed to new animal species and new pathogens too. So I think climate change and pandemics go hand in hand. Climate change will get more pandemics. If you look at people who live near wildlife, who work in animal markets or live, live near bat caves, they are very commonly exposed to viruses. It happens all the time. Even people in North America are very commonly exposed, for example, to, to swine flu viruses. Okay, So they're continually, people handle pigs, work in pig farms, go to pig fairs, but their pig viruses come to humans. So this exposure is happening all the time. Okay. Normally, luckily, they don't go anywhere. So there's one case and it burns itself out. Every so often though, and increasingly often now in this modern world, you get a chance for the virus to get going, cause an epidemic or even a pandemic. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.